Hi, it's Stacy from One Hungry Mama making heart-shaped pancakes for Valentine's Day. If you guys have been watching a while, you know that I like to keep it really easy on Valentine's Day, like my five-minute mug cake. I'd rather spend time cuddling and frankly annoying my little guys instead of in the kitchen slaving over some fussy Valentine's Day breakfast meal thing. But I also like doing something cute, and these heart-shaped pancakes totally qualify. All of the recipes that I do on this channel and also on my site, One Hungry Mama, are original. I developed them myself. But this time, I found something that was so cute and easy, I had to share it with you guys, even though the idea comes from Jess at A Designer Life. She had the idea for these lacy pancakes that are so cute, and I'm gonna do a version of them today. But if you wanna see Jess's version, you should check the description below for a link to her site. So making these is really great, it's easy. All you need to do is throw together a pancake batter. And if you're looking for a from scratch recipe, you can check my site, One Hungry Mama. I'll leave the link in the description. You can hop on over and use that. The key is, if your pancake batter is a little bit thick, and the one that I link to is, you're going to want to add a little bit of extra milk or water to thin it out a little bit, because we're going to pipe it into the pan. The way to do this perfectly is to have one of those plastic squeeze bottles with a really fine tip. Now, I don't have one. If you don't either, I don't think you need to spend the extra money on it. Instead, we're gonna cheat it using a Ziploc bag. Pour the batter into the Ziploc bag, don't close it up. Then you're gonna wanna snip a hole, a really, really small hole. Trust me, I've tried this a couple of times. If the hole's too big, they're just gonna look really blobby. Then, you're gonna to wanna to heat your pan or your griddle and lightly grease it. When it's hot and ready to go, you're gonna carefully pipe the pancake batter in a pattern. You're gonna start at one point and make the heart outline, and then just make a squiggly pattern in between. Now listen, these are pancakes. Pancakes are delicious any way you make them. Don't worry about getting it exactly right. It took me a couple of tries for sure. So just make sure that you make enough pancake batter that you can have a like two or three trial. <laughs> but that's it. You'll get the hang of it. You'll make a heart. You'll make a little pattern in between. And it comes out so pretty once you get the hang of it. A quick pancake tip before I go. And this goes for any pancakes, not just these. If you want to keep them warm while you finish cooking, all you have to do is set your oven to the lowest temperature it will go to. Usually that's 200 degrees. Then, you want to place an oven-safe dish inside. Now here's the thing. If you put just a small dish, you're going to end up stacking the pancakes as you cook them. The problem with that is as you stack them, they will steam, and that will make them kind of floppy and soggy. So if you really like having a crisp edge on your pancake, you want your plate to be big enough, or maybe use a baking sheet instead. That way, as you cook the pancakes, you can put them in the oven but you can put them in the oven laying in a single layer and you're not stacking them. Then they'll stay warm and crispy too while you do the cooking. So there you have it. Sweet Valentine's Day pancakes. Really easy, not fussy. You're not gonna beat yourself up. They're gonna be fun either way. My kids love these. Serve them with whipped cream and strawberries, syrup, whatever you kids like on their pancakes. Maybe even a little side of Nutella. It is Valentine's Day after all. If you like this recipe, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I wanna hear from you guys. What are you making for Valentine's Day besides these pancakes? For more quick tips and easy family recipes, visit me at onehungrymama.com. And don't forget to subscribe. A new video comes out every week and I don't want you to miss a thing. Happy Valentine's Day.